Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. In today's video, I'm going to review this, the Adidas Adi Zero Takumi Sen 8. First, I'm going to show a video of me running around in them. Then I'm going to put them on the turntable and look at their specifications. Then I'm going to review them. Finally, I'm going to see if I can recommend them. I bought this shoe because I have a lot of carbon plate marathon shoes and these are specifically designed for 5k to half marathon. So I wanted to see whether you could run a longer distance, a full marathon in them, and whether they'd be faster over the shorter distances. And in this, the first review I'm doing of the shoe, I'm going to try and find out. I decided to take these shoes to Sea Point, a coastal spot about five miles from the center of Dublin. So let's go for a run and see the shoes in action. <music> enjoyed the run along the uh, shore at sea point uh, let's put the shoe on the turntable and look at its specifications adidas say the shoe weighs 185 grams or 6.53 ounces in a uk size 8.5 this shoe is a us 12.5 a uk 12 an eu 47 and a third a jp 305 and a chn 290 in this size it weighs in the left shoe 226 grams or 7.95 ounces and in the right shoe, 232 grams or 8.2 ounces. It has a 33 millimeter stack height and a six millimeter drop. I need to say this about the Takumi Sen 8. Race day is here and it's time to unleash the speed. Find your fastest tempo in these Adidas running shoes made for 5K to half marathon road races. Light Strike Pro cushioning energizes your stride while energy rods add stiffness for snappy toe offs. The upper has a burly there feel because you don't want anything holding you back. Let's review the shoe and see if what Adidas says is true. Let's talk about the upper of the shoe first and stick on the old uh, light of truth in it. You'll see it's very breathable. I mean, you see with the light, you'll see it in the forefoot, you see it in the side, you can see it, uh, how little structure there is in the heel and the ventilation in the tongue. Um, you'll also see, I'll swap it over this side, you can see the mesh that, that, that first of all, is the main structure, but the tape that uh, holds the pieces together. Um, it's, uh, there's a thin flexible liner in it, uh, it's not removable, and the heel goes quite high up. It's, it's a bit of protection with some sort of Alcantara type material and a, a dish for your Achilles. Um, but uh, it's typical of a kind of shoe for this sort of speed, a very, uh, very lightweight upper. 
Adidas designed the shoe with energy rods, what they call them, going, going through. Um, I don't know if they're carbon infused. Sometimes Adidas on the website seem say energy rods that are carbon infused. Uh, they don't seem to say in relation to the shoe, so I just don't know. Um, but they're designed to go underneath, here's old bones. Um, so they're designed to go underneath your metatarsals and your uh, phalanges. So there's five of them running under the lines. Uh, I found it comfortable to run in as it happens. Um, the base is a very, very narrow, uh, it's the narrowest of any shoe I've got, the narrow heel, and doesn't sort of flare out, it's pretty straight. And also, uh, there's a very thin outsole with continental rubber. There's some, a little bit of, of traction here, uh, but mostly smooth with actually a very grippy surface. It's in two different colors here. It's the same on the other colorways. I think it's the same material, but it's, it's pretty grippy. The shoe is narrow and, and fits that way. Um, there's not a lot of wriggle room. Um, you might want to consider wearing thin socks if you get the shoe. Um, it's uh, a very light shoe, but it's not as light as this, the Atreyu, uh, the Battle Lies Within version of the uh, base model shoe, um, or this, the uh, Asics Metaspeed Edge. They're both very, very marginally lighter. I love the design of the shoe. Uh, I love the way you can see the energy rods coming through. Um, I love the, uh, the, the way the thick, bold stripes um, when you've got the two together looking like a V, I tried to point that out in the video in the sort of running, looking down at my feet. Um, there's an Adidas logo here. I'm not totally sure why that is. It doesn't add anything and it isn't on all their other shoes. In terms of the colorways, this is gray six, cloud white and core black. Uh, really love it. Loved making the black and white video in it. It's also available in Blue Rush, Turbo and Legacy Indigo. And this morning they um, released another colorway, which is a sort of peachy sort of color. Speaking of the colorways, this is the Blue Rush Turbo and Legacy Indigo on another shoe. This is the Adidas Adistar. And I often get asked, you know, by people, oh, should I buy a pair of Adidas? Well, it very much depends on what you're trying to do with it. Uh, this is a very much larger shoe. These are both the same size, okay? So the same size in terms of uh, the size I bought them in. But, but if you look at the heels, I mean, <laughs> look at the difference in those two. Uh, they're just they're just it's just extraordinary um, this shoe will go a long long way but this weighs 384 grams or 13.6 ounces and uh, this one is uh, 226 grams or 7.95 ounces um, I mean the lifetime of this shoe will be measured in half lives I mean this thing will go forever I mean they say they make them out of recycled plastics um, and plastic waste I mean Again, you clear a lot of oceans to make these um, and maybe a few small ponds to make these. I went out for a run in these and uh, when I'm making the, the videos and the, the running video, I did about 5,500 steps um, and so uh, and, and going as fast as I could and then slowing down walking to and from the car. Uh, and I found it really good, uh, a really enjoyable shoe to run in. Um, when the going gets gets tough, so I uh, ran a half marathon on the uh, Sunday. I made the video on the Saturday. I wanted to see, you know, could could you run a half marathon without any discomfort and try and project whether I could run a full marathon in them. I suppose the first thing is um, I wasn't it was I wasn't particularly going fast on the half marathon, but when I needed to overtake people on the pavement and go quicker, this really picked up the speed. It's narrow, but it's okay. Um, and I think I think you could uh, I think you could run a full marathon in them without too much bother, and we get on to whether you should or not. The shoe costs 200 euro or 180 US dollars, 170 pounds sterling, or 280 Australian dollars. I think at that sort of rate, it's pretty competitive. Question is is how you look at that versus the longevity of the shoe. I mentioned the weight of the shoe, and in particular, I compared it to this, the Asics Metaspeed Edge which is a sibling to the Asics Metaspeed Sky, which I've run a couple of marathons in. Um, this is a shoe I've run in really fast on a short run, really enjoyed, one of the best runs last year. And in, in lots of ways, I think it makes a good comparison with this particular shoe. I, I, I love the aesthetics of this. Uh, I prefer the heel of this because there's a lot more structure. And overall, I think um, when you're running in the Adidas, you can feel more firmness in the sole. The uh, Asics is, is a bit more, uh, it's, it, it settles down. It's got a, a, a wider uh, base on it. Um, but I have to say, I preferred running in the uh, Asics, but we'll talk a little bit about that in the conclusions. Should you buy this shoe? Well, it's light, fast, and I think it looks great. And if you are light, 
and fast and not just going to presume you look great and if you're going to run 5k to half marathon and you have other shoes if you wanted to run other distances then this is well worth considering it's a light fast shoe but if those conditions don't apply and you're perhaps slower heavier you want to go longer distances down the half marathon don't buy those shoes a much better buy i think would be the adios adi zero pro 2.0 in a men's 8.5 uk it's 28 grams or one ounce heavier and it's only about 20 bucks more I, I think that would make much more sense for most people yes if you're very light in your feet and you're very fast and in particular if you strike with the forefoot uh, or maybe forward to midfoot and and uh, you want fast quick shoe for short distance yeah it's well worth considering now caveat emptor buyers beware um you may have noticed that this is the left shoe. I nearly always show the right shoe. These are all the right shoe I show. It helps for consistency in making the videos. Um, this is the right shoe. And as you can see, there's something hanging down. As I came back from the half marathon the other day, uh, the outsole at the rear was hanging off. Um, I felt, I, I didn't feel much, but I could hear a slight noise as I, as I kind of neared home. I'd only been running on uh, exactly what they're designed for. I ran on pavement. I ran on uh dedicated pedestrian lanes I, I i ran on the street occasionally overtaking people uh, and i ran for half marathon um i had expected they'd last maybe 120 miles 200k in a shoe like this um adidas say they're for 5k up to half marathon what i didn't know was they meant only one half marathon because that's all they lasted i know that you know it's it's it's, it's a manufacturing fault on one shoe or perhaps manufacturing combined with a design fault but still disappointing and i thought i'd best mention it i bought the shoe as i'm in the run up to the zurich marathon i wanted to use a phrase i wanted to fast forward my fast forward um but unfortunately the only fast forward these will be doing is i'm fast forwarding the freight forward back to uh, adidas in germany one run and they're done I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff down in the links below and I'll happily answer any questions that you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.